She is a dubs. She is adorable. Oh, I love her. Stop it. Stop it. This personally irks me because it's annoying as hell. I take her out everywhere. And she is absolutely, yeah, you need to get one like her. She is just fabulous. I love her so much. Stop, stop, stop. I love it so much. I love, I love it. Stop it, stop it. It's not cool. Welcome back to my channel. If you are just joining me, if you have just become aware of me, oh my gosh, welcome. It's great to have you. To my old subscribers, not, not that you're old. No, no, no. You're never getting old. We are ageless on here. So to my subbies, I love you. Thank you so much for being there and for those who are joining me. I see you. Welcome. Today, <laughs> my hobby triggered this video. Well, I don't know if trigger is the right word, but he definitely inspired this video because whenever we are watching back my video he's like oh my god darling you need to stop with oh i love it i love it yeah yeah it's like and for example let's say i'm showing you something like this i just got this bag from louis vuitton and it's really cute. It's one of those SLGs, but, but it's a great night purse. It could hold your phone, see? And a lot of your cards and still be able to close. I have a fake chain for it and oh my god it's such a great find i love it so much <laughs> and of course there's this this bag that i got from mulberry and i absolutely love it see it's that absolutely love it or i love it so much oh my god god i really really wanted this bag oh my god i really wanted it in my life we have to stop that apparently it's annoying for many people <laughs> so guys today i'm going to share with you about five or six catchphrases or words that many influencers like myself use perhaps unaware that we are repeating ourselves or just based on the fact that we are watching other influencers they're saying it so we think that we should join the bandwagon it's never good to join the bandwagon <laughs> You have to be you. So I'm going to share some of those uh, key words that influencers use that absolutely irks some people in my neck of the woods. And to be honest, some of them irks me as well. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> oh, I need my phone. They're on my phone, so I need it. <laughs> So let's say an influencer is shopping online with you. The influencer would use the word and I've been refreshing the page and as soon as I saw it, it was put in cart. <laughs> Seriously? 
seriously. <laughs> I've come across that catchphrase a lot. And if you're in a niche where one where you are promoting less consumption and to swap, to rent, to, yeah, it's not something that really, really resonates well with some audience. So it's very important that if you're following somebody that is into, for example, fast fashion or is into overconsumption, you are likely to hear that phrase over and over again. It's meant to seduce. It's meant to influence. It's meant to encourage shopping. And while some people may not be influenced, there are many gullible people, especially the young population out there. They are gullible at a certain stage. And most of the times, it's that target audience that put stuff in their carts <laughs> and run up their debts. And in doing so, they essentially just overconsume without being mindful. And that's the issue right now. It's the idea that when you tell others to put in cart, some people need a little bit more information than that. It's, that's your style. And please remind them that, hey, this is my style. Before you put in cart, Make sure that this is your silhouette, this is your style, this is the fabrics that you like. Pay attention to materials so that you just don't buy something, you just don't go put it in cart, and then when it gets to you, it's not something that is your style, doesn't suit your lifestyle, and it's not the material you like. I have been victim of that for so many times. And I got to the point where I had stopped watching that, those influences because, yeah, I wasn't very happy about it. Another phrase that influencers use is, come shop with me. Please don't do that. I, I, I don't want to go shopping with you. Yeah, I don't. So, to be honest, those are some of the videos I personally don't really watch anymore because one I'm going shopping with you you may not even be in my country you may be going to a place that wouldn't have the things that I want the store may not be universal so then why am I going shopping with you yeah it sort of gets to me a bit but i don't take it as personally to each their own but yeah i don't want to go shopping with anybody but good luck to you and enjoy your trip another phrase that influencers use the same like put in your car this is the sister phrase to it it's you need this in your life Seriously? No, I don't need it in my life. A need is like food, water, shelter, some clothing, but it's not that I don't have any clothing. I have clothing, so I don't need clothes in my life unless I'm stranded somewhere. <laughs> oh my God, I know you... As influencers, we mean well when we say these things. And of course, it's to encourage, again, consumption. But yeah, it does irk some people. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and another phrase that is also the second cousin to that phrase as well is you need to run run don't walk run go get it right now seriously no 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 you see what i love if you really really want to influence me now that i'm a bit 
more of an educated consumer and I'm trying to promote education in terms of consumption, you would have to do a little bit better than to tell me run. You would have to tell me what's the fabric, your height, what is your waist line, what is just essentially looking at your body shape, that would influence me if I need a particular item. So we often make the mistake of looking at somebody that we love, an influencer, and they have a completely different body type than ours. And what suits them would not suit you. Keep that in mind before you're influenced before you put in carts, <laughs> before you run and not walk, before you think you need that in your life. Guys, it's not that serious. The only thing serious about the fashion industry <laughs> is that it's the second world's largest polluter in the world. In the world, the second largest, second to the petroleum, gas, and oil industry. That's the only thing. You need to run from that, not run to it. Okay, okay. I, I love you guys. I love my influencers, friends, but it's just that sometimes... There may be a time when your subscribers would likely hold you accountable or you never know. They may sue you one day because you tell them run to go get something and when they get it, it didn't work for them and you... Okay, let's not get that idea, but just saying. <laughs> Another phrase that influencers like myself use is oh it's so outdated i'll turn you to this commercial that absolutely grates on my nerves every single time i see that what's with the polka dots what do you mean polka dots are out it's polka squares now yeah I'm a polka dot lover. I love polka dot. Nothing is outdated. If it's your timeless, that's your timeless. If it's your silhouette, that's your thing. If it's your style, it's yours. Don't let the fashion industry dictate what's in or out of style for you. You do you. Yeah. That personally irks me. I don't know about hobby, but <laughs> that irks me. Another thing that they like to do, oh my God, yes, this is a good one. This is really good. The personification of their inanimate objects. For example, influences this personally irks me because it's annoying as hell to me personally no offense but it's like she is a dubs she is adorable oh i love her i take her out everywhere and she is absolutely yeah you need to get one like her she is just fabulous I love her so much she is going to be in my closet forever please stop it stop it stop it stop 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 it stop it it's not cool it's an object when you personify by that I mean you bring life to an inanimate object you turn the object into human form. You make it into a person. It's not cool. It's the reason why sometimes maybe many of you <laughs> do not want to use your Birkin or your Curly because, oh, she's too cute to go outside. Yeah. 
<laughs> She's too nice. It's a bag. Yeah, that irks me. And it's not just bags. It's like a shoe or a necklace or a piece of clothing, like a really fabulous denim or jumpsuit or a cashmere sweater. Like those those items that are considered like really, especially if it's a luxury item, oh my God. And interestingly, it's never a he, it's always a she. Yeah, always a she. Stop it, stop it, not cool. <laughs> another phrase okay I'm almost done I'm not gonna like really give it to you today I'm sorry it looks so expensive it's like oh my god this is I'll try it on for you I'll try this blazer on it's from Harry Rosen Holt Winfrey and it's a hundred percent virgin wool Oh my gosh, it's, yeah, it makes you look so expensive and elevated. It is expensive. It is. Sorry, I didn't mean to shout at you, but it is expensive. Yeah, because expensive for you may not be expensive for me for me anything past sixty dollars is expensive for somebody it might be thirty dollars it depends on your income bracket so stop it okay still didn't mean to shout sorry guys yeah <laughs> so those are some of the catchphrases Keywords that we are often guilty of saying, oh, love it, love, love, love. Of course, you could love something. I think you could. Is love just meant for people and animals? Hmm. Let me know below. So, yeah, <laughs> so it's something we should reflect on and think about when we are influencing others when we are commenting on an object when we are essentially sharing stuff i know you mean well you want them to go out and get something similar but you also know that you have a, a few dogs in it you have interests in them buying you know that come on we all know that that's the game we can't hate the players right but we could be mindful and be accountable about what we convey to others there so that's essentially it this video is in jess as well as i'm also very serious <laughs> love you guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you have learned something and i hope that you enjoyed the video and i'll see you soon in the next one take care guys Bye.